And this morning at the state capitol, thousands are lacing up their running shoes for a five and ten mile race in downtown Sacramento. It's all a part of a national effort for women's fitness. KZRA 3's Deirdre Fitzpatrick joins us live now from the start line. And good morning. Are you guys fired up about this race? Are we fired up? <laughs> I'm fired up. I'm ready to go. Lisa's been having those uh, night before the race dreams. So tell us the nightmare last night. So I'm running around all of Sacramento five minutes before the race looking for my running shoes. <laughs> but you were running. I know. And even my bad running shoes. It was a nightmare. Okay, but check it out. Speaking of shoes, look down here. This is how I know we're meant to be a team. <laughs> is that the same shoes? We're, we're doubled up. We're the double mid twins of hashtag run for today. Yeah. So we're ready to get going. Yeah, and I'm excited. I'm going to be practicing the chi running that we learned so the for chi all five miles. <laughs> we did a story about this about two weeks ago. So the chi running is a different form of running where you kind of lean into the run a little bit. Yeah. And the reason we tried it was because running a longer distance is something that's been challenging for you. Yeah, so I'm worked up to the five miles. I've only gotten to four so far. But the well, chi running be very exciting then. <laughs> yeah, the chi running is kind of like centering your body, you lean forward. I call it the zombie run because you kind of look like a zombie. So that's what I've been practicing uh, for run for today, for yeah. today. But so. the concept behind it is that you're a little bit more mindful when you're running. And really yeah. that's kind of the whole point of this hashtag run for today is to be more mindful about your health, about your fitness, and the impact that, especially as a woman, your health has on the rest of your family's health. Yes. And my kids, I told them when I left, I said, Mommy's going to do the zombie running, but I'm scared. So. <laughs> She's a scared zombie. She's the only scared zombie out here. But let's go ahead and show you. We've got our hashtag run for today tent right here. Everybody's just kind of arriving, getting all warmed up. This is going to be our meeting place before and after the run. And we have probably about 70 or so run for today runners who will be joining us. And we're excited to have everybody. Here's one. Hello. We're on live. We are on live TV. Always good to always good to point that out. <laughs> good morning. Can we have a personalized forecast, please? Yes. Perfect weather right now. It's 55 degrees. It'll probably warm into the low 60s when we cross the finish line for the five miler, 10 milers. It's getting a little war warm out there. A little probably bit warmer, but we're getting a nice cool start, which is great. It's fantastic. I got the layers on, but they'll be coming off pretty soon. All right. Well, <laughs> well, well. Did you have any running nightmares last night? No, not really. No. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> Play along. Yes, you did. Yes, did you, you did. Did you eat before you? Did you eat before that? I just had a slice of bread. Okay. Just one slice. Oh, you're so indulgent. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I needed one carb. <laughs> All right. Do you have one uh, last minute tip here for our friend Lisa? Lisa, pace yourself. Don't sprint the start. Pace yourself. <laughs> you have to send live copter three out at the end to find me. <laughs> See if I finish this thing. Don't end up in the river either. No, I won't. We, it's I won't. all good. We're going to have a great run. So we've got a fantastic start out here. We've got a personalized forecast. How much better does it get? The answer, not much. We are excited to have all of our run for today runners. Hello, good morning. Are you ready to go? <laughs> here, but she doesn't want you to be on camera with her pregnant belly. Oh, we'll <laughs> bring, her on. Over bring her on over. So, Melissa oh, McClendon, one of one of the most accomplished masters runners in the greater Sacramento area. Oh. We're excited to have you out here today and on our Run for Today team. Good morning, running for two. Look yeah. at this down We're here. Together, oh. mother and daughter, <laughs> and new grandbaby coming yeah. in. So, yeah. as we talk about women and running and taking control of your health, you're a great example of this, Heather, because. You continue to run through your pregnancy, and for you, I know because we're good friends. Um, it's a great stress relief, and also a great example for your kids. Yes, absolutely. I've run through all three of my pregnancies now, and it has been awesome for all my babies. So, so it's a great example for my kids, and yeah, definitely makes me feel better. All right, well, we are ready to run for today, and we're so excited to have everybody out here. If you are going to be heading out here to the start line, number one, hurry up, because we're getting ready to start this race in about 25 minutes. And number two, our meeting point again is going to be right here in the grassy median, right here by the start line. And Leticia, we will see you at the finish line eventually. And Deirdre and Lisa, what do you want to tell women who just say running isn't for me? There's no way I could ever accomplish this goal, Leticia's not even a 5K. Wondering, what would be the advice you would tell women about accomplishing a goal and setting a big goal for you to set a goal for five miles and you've never done that? It's huge. Right, it is, and that's why I kind of shared with my kids. I was really honest with them. Like, mommy's kind of scared, but you know, you see me work up to this. Um, I would say one of the things that our chi running coach said. 
to me that stuck with me was we get to run. So don't think about it as you have to go run, was that we get to run. And so kind of keep that mindful of that the whole time. And then just try not to stop. But if you stop, just keep walking and keep going. And then just kind of build on those building blocks and think, okay, well, I put those blocks down for my confidence wall and then just keep building on those blocks. And I love that idea of getting to do something rather yeah. than seeing it as something that has to be crossed off a list. I get right. to have 30 minutes by myself. <laughs> no one asking me for something. I get 30 minutes. Yeah. And that 30 minutes lets me give back so much more to my family. Yeah. So in all seriousness, that's kind of also what I try to teach the kids as I was, you know, going through all of this. But I was pretty honest. I'm like, I'm a little scared this morning. <laughs> a little bit of scared is good. Because I think it's good that they know that, you know, I'm nervous about it and it's okay. But you just ca you keep doing it. So forge ahead. And we get to do it. <laughs> Finishing something hard is that much better when it's done because, yes. because it was hard and because you chose to do it. And then there's brunch after. <laughs> and there's brunch. And then there's brunch. All right. Well, I'm proud of you. And we are going to be ready to run for today here in just about 20 minutes. We'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, great. Lisa, see si se puede. You can do it, girl. Good luck, ladies. All right. We'll be right back after this break.